Hi again, welcome to the garage, I'm Pierre. For this uh, application today, I need to shave off some material from a regular insert, uh, metal working insert. Um, so I'll be shaving off the, the top of it to make it flat. I'll be using this four inch uh, grinding wheel. It's diamond uh, embedded into resin, uh, especially for, let's say you want to do some carbide. This will that last a long time. Don't use it for anything else than the hardened material like carbide and things like that. O otherwise you'll ruin it. Uh, once the surface is kind of flat, you, you'll be left with some streaks. If it's sufficient for you, then you stop there. Uh, I wanted something more like uh, glossy finish or mirror finish. So I got some uh, kits there. See, uh, this is some diamond, uh, diamond lapping uh, compound. I, the first kit goes from 40 microns to 7 microns. This, uh, this will give you a pretty smooth, pretty nice uh, finish. Uh, starting to be reflective a little bit. Uh, you really want the mirror finish. Then go to the second kit from five microns to quarter of a micron, then seven uh, seven steps. Then it really will give you like this uh, final insert, the um, the exact finish you want as a you know kind of mirror finish. The actual insert you're going to see there today is uh, finished at one micron. I could have gone two steps lower, but this is more than what I need, and uh, th this will be good enough for the application. So let's go and see how it's done, and uh, I'll give you the references for those, you know, you can get some uh, decent products at a decent price. Uh, I'll give you my sources, and if you're, uh, you know, going to do something, not maybe not for NASA or, uh, you know, very, uh, very high government uh, jobs, maybe this is maybe not what you want to use, but if you're a small shop, home shop, or whatever, for a decent price, you can achieve uh, very decent results. Let's go and uh, let's see what we can get from, uh, you know, decent, decently priced tools. So I need to make this top of the uh, insert completely flat. This is for an upcoming project. With wood, carbide inserts are not really the best. I mean, the, the way they are shaped and uh, sharpened for steel, I mean, they, they won't work at all. So they need to be very, kind of a have a very sharp in the ends. And that's what I'm going to try to do with this, uh, this setup. First, first step, diamond wheel with the uh, holding setup and the grinder. Let's uh, see how it goes. This ready to touch down. Just a little bit of a adjustment on the angle. Tap tap. That's pretty close. That's good. So we're taking about a thousand at a time, not much more. These diamond wheels are pretty tough and they last pretty long with the carbide. One piece of advice though, don't use them with the high speed steel. Make some spring passes until you get uh, clear, maybe a one half a thousand. Okay, as we see here, the surface is totally, totally scraped, flat. Let's change the uh, operating table now. Those are the two inserts. Just before we start the lapping, they've been ground on the diamond wheel, but the thing is like you pretty see I'm sure you see pretty well all the uh, the patterns the uh, of the grit in the wheels. And uh, I mean, if you look at far from them, they look good. But if you look at very close, this is this is how it looks like. So we'll be uh, grinding them, and uh, let's uh, you know as we go, we'll be doing some comparison. We'll, I'll keep one as a reference, and the other one that'll be sharpened. We're now getting ready to uh, do this uh, cleaniness. Here we go, the plates are clean, clean cloth. Just make sure that everything's clean. There's no grits, no nothing on there, so this cloth can be used for all of them for now. Uh, make sure that uh, you haven't uh, cleaned up or lapped or did anything with emery or any abrasive with the, the plates, because if you do that, you end up uh, embedding some uh, grit into the aluminum and that will stay there until, uh, you know, it wears out or it just scratches your surfaces. So the uh, pastes here, 
20 microns, seven microns, one micron. I stamped some little numbers in the corners there. One, seven, and 20, corresponding to the uh, number of microns that we're gonna use. Uh, the sets have, uh, from, four, from uh, 40 microns, and in those two bags, from 40 microns to, uh, uh, I think, 0.25 microns. So, you got a, <laughs> a very big assortment. You can go rougher than what I'm using, and you can go finer than what I'm gonna be using. But for what I'm planning for, we'll uh, manage with this, and uh, you see that uh, by using a minimal uh, amount of steps, you can get pretty decent results on the what has to be done. So we'll keep one the insert as a reference, the other one will be ground, and this one as a reference stays off off field, just right there. This one's going to be first on the 20, second, and I guess you already guessed it. So 20 microns uh, grit here. I'll be just moving around the other stuff a little bit. And once you start to use this plate with 20 microns, you can maybe use it with rougher uh, grit or whatever, but never with uh, softer grit or lesser lesser grit. Okay, this is 20 microns. I'll be, um, just make sure that nothing contaminates those. I'll be using one little drop of WD-40 to uh, kind of make it a little softer, emolliate the, that little piece of a, oh, yeah, that little piece of a diamond paste. It's going to go a little bit in the middle, but, okay, this is first time we use these plates, these aluminum plates. I'll be keeping them after, so uh, you wrap them separately, and you can use them for uh, future, uh, future use. You know, it being engraved like that, you get them back on the 20 grit. There we go. Yeah, I feel the grit a little bit, that's perfect. And the WD-40 uh, is pretty thin, it's kerosene mostly. And the little, uh, you know, little lines from the uh, mailing cutter in here, that keeps the, uh, you see, helps keeping the uh, grit in, the in line there. And figure eight. Okay, this is no precise lapping. Uh, I could be uh, like very precisely, precisely lapping this with other methods, but this is more for uh, you know, just um, uh, there we go. Making sure we keep the uh, solution wet enough. We're not going to be using rags to clean up each times each uh, steps in there. I'll always be using the same rag for the twenty and uh, never mixing them up because uh, I guess you understand that if you get bigger grit than a smaller grit, you're starting over. Okay, you keep it wet. Oops. What we uh, what the plan is with the rougher uh, grit is to get rid of all the uh, major lines in there. Yeah, we're still having some lines in there, but you know, quickly come into a smoother surface. Slowly getting there. You see that the middle there, which is the the, the demarcation line there. We're getting close to the edges. Same thing on the other side, even closer. It's a little bit more. I've been at it for about well, five, six minutes, maybe a, a few, a few seconds more. But this is a very important step in the uh, in the process. This is the original insert with all the streaks in there. Now we got the 20 grit done, and it's done evenly. Every uh, the whole surface is very even, and start starting to show a little bit of a shine on it. So it's not a bad sign so far. So we're going to go from the 20 grit to the uh, seven, uh, 7 micron grit. This we carefully put aside the 20 grit uh, just in a clean place so it doesn't get contaminated because we got other inserts to do. This is the rag for the 20 grits. This has to be put aside. <laughs> Cleaning up the table here. Make sure everything stays clean. Now let's go for the 7 grit. Uh, the witness insert, always aside, the one that was uh, done with 20 grit, go on this, uh, let's go with a clean rag again, make sure nothing's been on the on that little 7 grit plate, there we go, another little crut of a, uh, come on you, 7 seven microns let's start with this and see how we uh, how far we get that doesn't take uh, 
tremendous amount. WD-40 again, make sure the everything's clean. Same, same insert. I kind of wash my hands in between operations, not to bring some uh, coarser grit into the uh, this upper this uh, step. Squish this a little bit. You're gonna see appearing very soon the the, the darker color. So the uh, as the carbide is getting eaten up, I think I'll have to add a little bit though. There we go. Ah, it's getting there. It doesn't take that much. And eventually the uh, diamond on this plate will wear out and uh, go down you know, in, the, in size. It's already starting to show uh, a little bit more gleam on it. There, yeah. there we go. Let's go. And as we go, the... Uh, <laughs> the pace will get uh, darker and darker as carbide the uh, pieces are you know are being removed and these steps uh, as we go the steps will be uh, shorter and shorter because the uh, material to remove between every uh, every coat after the uh, the bulk of the material has been removed the the rest is getting uh, much easier okay the shine is getting uh, better Every time we uh, go at it, there's a little bit more to be done, and that's uh, that's uh, that's coming along pretty good. We're starting to see the uh, lights reflect in them directly. Almost, it's not quite, but almost mirror finish. Let's give it a little bit more. Okay, uh, we're now seeing the uh, now seeing the seven micron. Uh, yes, uh, we're. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, I'm getting the light there. We almost see the all the details since the uh, finish is pretty much. Uh, you know, it's close to a mirror, not exactly so far, but getting good. We're uh, just about ready for the one micron. I'm not going to try to make, uh, you know, a laboratory finish, but uh, let's make it uh, close enough. Okay, let's put that away. This is after the seven micron uh, a, a grit. See the, uh, the actual reflection of the uh, little tweezer in there? And... We're going to the original, like uh, the uh, the witness uh, insert there, which there's not much reflection in this. Here was getting lots of uh, little lines in there. Um, so I decided to go back for the 2.5 microns. And uh, I'll just give it a little bit more of a grind on this, and I'll show you what it does. Mm, this looks pretty promising. Again, with the one micron, diluting a little bit so it just spreads better. Coming from seven micron to one. It's been cleaned too. Also, this it's important that we get rid of all the uh, the grits, the uh, bigger grits from this. Okay, here we go. I've gotten as close as possible after the uh, finish work. This is the original uh, insert with the you know the, the grind from the diamond uh, the diamond wheel on the on the grinder, and this is the uh, second one that I just ground and uh, lapped from uh, you know 20 microns to uh, one micron uh, finish uh, finish product, and uh, see how it makes a difference. It's not obvious if you just look at it like this, but uh, let's make it more obvious. There you go. This is a uh, this is a pretty good uh, mirror finish uh, that we can get on the. Uh, there you go. And naturally, this one here doesn't reflect much. This is uh, the kind of a result we can expect to get. I know I'm not exactly in a perfect uh, environment or uh, you know dustless or uh, very controlled environment. And uh, it wasn't made to uh, really, you know, the utmost uh, clean room uh, facilities, but uh, still pretty good for, uh, you know, some home or, or shop uh, done uh, lapping.